myself on that one <laughs> all right so we got something pretty cool for you guys today actually something that we've been wanting to do for a very long time we're going to be taking the 450 motor out of this yfz 450 and putting it into the shifter car so this thing currently has a cr 125 motor in it and it's insanely fast honestly maybe even a little bit too fast it gets scary once you hit like fifth sixth gear <laughs> put a 450 in I think it's just gonna be a drifting machine and still also have that top speed factor so anyways let's get to work out of the cart. Do we swap it into a 2001 CR 125 frame? I was thinking we put in a Miata. <laughs> oh my gosh, when did this tip over? All right, the wiring harness is out and now we just have one last bolt and we should be able to pull the motor out of the dirt bike. Oh, all right, easy part is done with. Now we gotta try and make this thing fit. So uh, first step is gonna be making some mounting brackets so it obviously sits in the cart and stays there. And then secondly, we gotta figure out how to reroute this exhaust to go around the back here so you don't burn your arm on it. And then uh, get the wiring harness all plumbed in and then figure out how to set up like the shifter and the throttle. And then we're pretty much done. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah, that's it, <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's a lot lighter than my motor. We've got some pretty good ideas on what we're gonna do with this dirt bike frame. I think you can probably guess what we're thinking, but uh, it'll be a project for another day. Today's build has been brought to you by none other than our friends over at Celsius. We love drinking Celsius over here. We always have our fridge stocked to the brim with all the variety of flavors just because we love it so much. But my new current go-to flavor is the Oasis Vibe. Just because summer's right around the corner, it seems to kind of fit the season. But if you guys haven't tried Celsius, basically the gist of it has 200 milligrams of caffeine in it, zero sugar, zero preservatives, and it tastes amazing. So uh, if you haven't tried it already, you can go out to any grocery store, gas station, or even off of Amazon, you can get it in packs. Go give it a try. Try. And thank you Celsius for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the build. All right, she's done. New motor is put in and uh, for what it is, it looks pretty factory. The exhaust routed out the back, looks amazing. Gas tank is just tucked underneath the front there. And honestly, it looks factory. Looks great. The nice thing about these carts is they're kind of just so swappable and open, you yeah. know? Like, yeah. Pretty much the biggest pain in the butt was just like the ECU and the wiring making all that work together, but I think it's good to go. Ooh. Shifter is still right here, so it's still technically a shifter cart. You're really tight in here next to this motor. The thing oh! Yeah, it's uh, gonna get real hot too. Gas tank's a little in the way, but. Take those shoes off. Take your shoes off. Shoot. Let's make this more dangerous. Wow, this thing is actually, it feels more sketchy now, I'm not gonna lie. You haven't even started it yet. Well, I'm glad I didn't go burning off down the highway. Yeah, that could have been max speed run. Jeez Louise, I'd be in the ditch. I don't know if this was cracked before, but it's cracked now. And then this was also like finger. Oh, that's loose. on you, Ben. Mm. You loosened it. Mm. 
All right, quick little hub tighten and uh, she's back in action. <laughs> actually got way shorter gears than I would have thought. <laughs> How's it doing? Dude, it's just like immediately on the rev limiter and it has so much torque that like when you shift, you're even getting a little gas, you just break some loose. I think it's more of just a drifting machine. <laughs> Hold up, you're telling me this thing isn't practical? <laughs> no, I think it was a lot faster before, top speed wise. Like I, I don't even try to do a donut and it just spins me into a donut. <laughs> yeah, I saw you do a donut over there. I, I, didn't what's try doing? To, I was just trying to turn around. <laughs> this is concerning here. We have the P-Rock Thrower 9000. Yeah, that's why you, oh, yeah, whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought you were gonna drop her in, Mike. I'm not stupid. Debatable. Debatable. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying I'm a genius either. I was just saying, you Listen, know. Listen, I'm not either. I think we build a dirt track and we do some drifting. But we should race it actually first against the other one just to see. So this cart's got just like a two-stroke 125 in it. Pretty standard for what most carts have, but uh, we'll see how the 125 compares to the 450. Oh, so close! All right. I I think they're actually about the same speed, surprisingly. <laughs> All right, so we put a dirt bike motor in the shifter cart. Now it's uh, time to turn the dirt bike track into a shifter cart track. We're gonna till it up and then pack it down so it's like as smooth as possible. We're just about finished up on the track, trying to make it as smooth as possible at the moment. But we threw some dirt tires on. Look how much we stretched this, bro. <laughs> I cannot believe that we made this work. It looks pretty much like a little bowling ball. But we'll throw these on and uh, hit the track. The thing about this track is gonna be though, I don't know how smooth it's really gonna be. And this thing is still gonna be like this far off the ground. So it's gonna be interesting. Oh, it's, yeah. it's gonna be a rough ride. I don't think it's gonna be smooth at all. Okay, <laughs> uh, I was just yeah. curious what you guys thought. No, it, it's gonna be pretty much bottom out everywhere everywhere and I think that this whole dream of us having a flat track might end after today or we might call someone and have them come in with some asphalt Ooh. this is a budget track this is a budget track we're saving a lot of money things are tight around here we break 15 things every video and uh, we got custom corners she's ready all right last night Mike had a truck delivered <laughs> He said, hey, I got a truck coming by tonight. If anybody's at the shop, help unload it. I thought it was a pickup truck. Show up to work this morning. It's a water truck. <laughs> What are you gonna do with a water truck, oh, buddy? Nine? Dude, you act like we don't have two full-blown motocross tracks. If we didn't, that'd be a great question. 
That'd be a great question. So I thought Evan was gonna be like stoked on it, but he wasn't even. So I was gonna get bumped <laughs> I just don't know what we're gonna do with it. Anywhere we need it, it wouldn't go. Track. Yeah, but it's not for the pit bike track. It's spray water, it just... It sprays Mike, water? Right Mike, I didn't even I, know you were in dude, the market for a I, water truck. You must not watch my stories dude, then. How many oh. vehicles do you have now, Mike? A lot. I don't know, but yeah, I was really bummed when I found out Evan wasn't stoked. I was like, <laughs> Mr. Moto guy, my moto buddy, my partner in moto, was like, what do we need a water truck for? <laughs> well, that's what I'm wondering. No, dust no, it no. out every time I ride behind Bro. you. Mike loves just buying stuff. He's got so much stuff, dude. He's got so many dirt bikes. He's got so many cars. And then Automobile. He's got like multiples of everything. Mike's getting all this equipment, then he's gonna start billing us for using it. We're gonna have to start billing him for storing all this crap, though. Hey, we'll call it even then. <laughs> all right, we're square. How many cylinders is this supposed to run on? I hear four. Oh, the turning radius is bad. It looks real easy to navigate into the tight areas of our track. It's spitting and sputtering though. Couldn't tell if that was Ryan's Hummer or Mike's new truck. <laughs> oh, oh, there. Nice. Holy frick! I think he just blew it up. He just blew that thing up. <laughs> it's the dead stud! Mike is investment pan on it. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> hey Mike, I take back everything I said. This is a great rig. <laughs> You know, we do a lot of things putting vehicles out of their element, but uh, this might be a new record. These things are not meant to be out here. <laughs> These things have as much business being out here as an R6 does in the forest. So you're pretty confident? No. <laughs> no, I just think it's par for the course. Like, this is exactly what we should be doing. All right, so Evan basically okay. built a new... Basically, it's like a flat track for these things, and it's super smooth, honestly. It turned out good. I was worried that we were, it's gonna be too bumpy, being that these things really have like less than an inch of clearance, but I think it's gonna work, and it, it should be really fun, especially on the 450, because you'll just be drifting around these corners, throwing some uh, throwing some dirt. No, this looks great, dude, holy crap. Good work, Ev. It turned out pretty good. I was a little worried, because the ground is pretty rough out here. Sick. The wall ride to the scrape. How's it work? Dude, this is perfect. Is it? Yeah. Is it that... works so good. If I had a little bit more clearance, it would be dialed, but still so fun. We need Mike's water truck. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much sand in my mouth. I can't believe how well it does on this. I'm actually surprised too, and I was fairly confident that it'd do well. Did you guys see me linking all this? Yeah, I'm literally great. going from one drift to the other. Whoever it must not be very hard. Whoever laid out this track really did a good job. This is might be one of the most fun times I've had on a shifter cart, honestly. <laughs> you gonna fire up the other cart? See if I can keep yeah. up on the old 125. He couldn't let you have the spot. Yeah, he runs back, gets his helmet, and he's like, the one time I get to kind of be the rider in the video, he's got to get out here. I feel like you guys got to have a race. Oh man, it's going to suck to be the one in back. Man, these things are looking dusty. <laughs> this is cardigan. exactly where they're not supposed to be. These are hardly even off-road shifter carts. We just put some tiny knobby tires on Okay, but that makes an off-road crotch rocket. That's true. When this hits the ground! Yeah, but throw it off the track. Oh, true.
Oh! Oh, I got full of dirt! Oh! It's in my oh, mouth and everywhere! Oh! Dude, I can't see anything! Oh! I need to get some water and some... Oh! I got dirt in my eye somehow. I wonder how. Dude, I totally felt like Tokyo Drift out there. Dude, when we were next to each other and we looked over and we're just right here, I felt like a pro drifter. <laughs> Seriously, I've never seen like that hardcore of a dusting. Dude, it's just so fun. Like, they're so fast, they drift so well. It, it does give you a lot of driver confidence. Like, you don't have to be that good of a driver. I hate to say it, but you, you don't have I mean, to be I that good of a driver to drive these things I'm like that. Cool. We might honestly want to let this 125 cool down a little bit. A lot of oh, oh! Maybe all that oh. red limer is not so good for it. All right, so in the last merch drop that we had, we uh, did two giveaways. The first one being the CRF 110, and the second one being anyone who bought this 2 million subscriber sweatshirt got entered to win a weekend experience where we fly him and a buddy out to come and hang out with us. Well, we have both the winners back. Uh, I think we'll start with calling the winner of this. All right, the pit bike winner's name is Hunter Park Rider, Midland, Texas. Dude, hopefully this dude's stoked. Nope. What's up, dude? Hunter? What is up? Oh my gosh, dude, this is crazy. Let's go! Oh, oh he's stoked! Well, we called you to let you know that you won this pit bike back here. Dude, no way. This, oh, oh my gosh, this is freaking nuts. Nice. Yeah, we'll ship it down to you. Well, all right, man. Well, I appreciate it. Is there anything else on my end that I need to do or? I'll shoot you a text once we're done with this, so. Big Ken's gonna text you late tonight. He's got some weird requests. <laughs> <laughs> all right, second winner for the weekend hangout. That is Austin Fredericks from South Lyon, Michigan. Do we know how old he is? We gotta help. I have no idea. What's up, dude? Yo! What's good? What up? Hey man, we're uh, we're just calling you to let you know that you won the two million hoodie weekend with the Sea Boys experience. No way. Yes sir. <laughs> yes way. What the? F yes dude. sir. How old are you? Twenty two. All right, we're gonna have a real good time. We're gonna have a real good time. That's awesome. Two for two. That's awesome, boys. I love that. All right, there we go. We appreciate everyone that got entered. We wish that we could fly all of you guys out. Thank you for supporting us as always. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.